Good evening and welcome on this Tuesday evening as we gather from the events of our day to share in this time of Bible reading and prayer. I just got a hiccup uh, with one of the screens here, so just let me, just bear with me. I'm not sure if it's a issue that's going out to you or if it's just something local within the building. Just bear with me a moment. We will have a look. Now I think we've got to check things on.
not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful, but many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts boast in the Lord. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Thanks very much, Sandra. And my apologies on the lack of sound. I became aware of that when we swapped over, so a quick hunt and we found the solution. So we come to the second of our canticles, the Song of Mary, commonly known as the Magnificat. We say together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today is a special day in the calendar as we remember Cuthbert of Lindisfarne. Cuthbert was an Anglo-Saxon saint of the early Northumbrian church in the Celtic tradition. He was a monk, bishop and hermit, associated with the monasteries of Melrose and Lindisfarne in the kingdom of Northumbria. Today in northeastern England and southeastern Scotland. Both during his life and after his death, he became a popular medieval saint of northern England with a cult centred on his tomb at Durham Cathedral. Cuthbert is regarded as the patron saint of Northumbria. His feast days are 20th of March in the Catholic Church, the Church of England, Eastern Orthodox Church, the Episcopal Church, and on the 4th of September in the Church of Wales and parts of the Catholic Church. Cuthbert grew up in and around Lauderdale, 
near Old Melrose Abbey, a daughter house of Lindisfarne, today in Scotland. He decided to become a monk after seeing a vision on, on the nights in 651 that Aidan, the founder of Lindisfarne, died. But he seems to have experienced some period of military service beforehand. He was made a guest master at the new monastery at Ripon soon after 655, but had to return with Iata of Hexham to Melrose when Wilfred was given the monastery instead. About 662 he was made prior at Melrose and around 665 went as prior to Lindisfarne. In 684 he was made Bishop of Lindisfarne but by late 8, 686 he resigned and returned to his hermitage as he felt he was about to die. He was probably in his early 50s. So today we remember with thanks to God the life and ministry of Cuthbert of Lindisfarne, bishop and missionary. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for your servant Cuthbert, whom you called to bring the gospel to the people of Northumbria. Raise up in this and every land evangelists and heralds of your loving reign, so that the whole world may know the unsearchable riches of our Saviour Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Colic for the Week. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the powers of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son, we pray that, as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his presence abiding in us, he may raise us to joys eternal, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Tonight we share with the Anglican Communion around the world in praying for the Diocese of Cuba which is part of the Episcopal Church of the United States. We pray for your people as they serve you there, particularly mindful of present unrest in that country. In Australia, we pray for the Diocese of Perth. Their Archbishop, Kay Goldsworthy, the Assistant Bishops, Kate Wilmont, David Bassett, Hans Christensen, for the clergy and people. In our own diocese, we pray for the parish of Ipswich, Lorraine Lynch, Michelle Knight, Simon Arrock, Elizabeth Choll, Diane Leach, Gavin Ott, and Brenda Davis. In the residential aged care, tonight we pray for Karami in Harvey Bay. We uphold to you, Father, the residents, the staff, and their families. In the schools, we pray for West Morton Anglican College at Carabin. At uh, Jeff McClay, their principal. Jane Makaratos, Makotios, uh, their chaplain. Bruce Saxon, as he chairs the college, college council. We pray for the members of the college council, the staff, the students, and their families. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And a prayer for growth. God of mission, who alone brings growth to your church, send your Holy Spirit to help us know your vision for your church. Guide us in our planning. Give wisdom to our actions and power to our witness as we grow in numbers. Help us grow in spiritual health and maturity as we serve the local community through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, as we pray for one another, we continue to pray for those who are sick, for Trish Mellon as she continues treatment for cancer, for Marge Wari as she continues to recuperate from a recent broken elbow, 
We pray for those who are recovering from hip or knee replacement surgery. We pray your help upon them in their convalescence and in their exercising. We thank you for those who give of themselves to care for others in their time of need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we come to the evening collect. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. So we come to the close of our time together this evening. Uh, apologies for hiccups that we had earlier in the service. Uh, thank you to Sandra for stepping in. With We don't have John with us this week. A reminder that being Wednesday, we do have a Bible study at 7.30 and we look forward to joining you, you joining us on Zoom. Just go to our webpage, 4017anglican.church and tap on the, the link and it'll take you through to Zoom and just follow the prompts. So for now, we bid you good night and God bless and look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow evening. Thank <laughs> you.